guys, this is uh, <laughs> well a sort of interim video really. Um, trying to make up my mind about something, I think I'm decided, but I'm going to get your opinions. Uh, so I'm just going to bring you in close in a minute and uh, go over one or two aspects regarding the modifications to my fingers on the uh, Steady. You may remember I modified them a while back, put some threads on and nuts. But uh, there are several things I've got in mind either to modify or make new and uh, I thought I'd get people's input on it. Uh, I've actually got two fingers also on the homemade uh, travelling steady which I've hardly used but I'm thinking I might do something with those as well at some point. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll come in a bit closer and uh, just chat through these things and then we'll see where we go from there, all right? Okay. Okay, so I'll try and get some close-ups in a moment. Um, there's the uh, fixed steady, and uh, oh, I'll show you the travelling steady in a minute. Not that's very exciting, but anyway, here we go. I've got the uh, ro cam rollers have come, so. There's a finger with its uh, machine flat. Now the flat is just less than the uh, eight millimeter of the roller cam. These are perhaps a little bit large, but I'm going to darn well use them. However, if I if I offer up here, might just about be able to see that. Uh, in order to have enough meat on the steel, I'm going to have to come back uh, probably eighth, three sixteenths, which means I lose my phosphor bronze tip, which I'm a bit reluctant to do in some ways. Plus the fact that the flat is 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 just undersized for the eight mil. Not that that matters too much. So I could still use that finger or the fingers. Uh, but the other idea is, I'm going to zoom in here, this, oh, can you see, can you see here, my two little roller blocks, I made those last year. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in and show you how useful they are for a quick check. I've got a couple of lengths of half inch, fortunately I'm lucky, I've got three or four lengths of half inch, so what I'm thinking of is maybe start again, make new fingers. But before that, see if I've got decent material. This piece, this piece runs out about a thou and a half. You can probably see the readout. And then the other one, I think is not quite so good. I'll have to reset. Actually, it's a, this is a bit rough. This piece hasn't been cleaned up very much. I've reset zero, sort of, and that runs out about, oh I don't know, I've got to reset, let me reset zero. It's a bit precarious here. Yeah, it's about a couple of thou. So anyway, that's just to demonstrate the usefulness of the uh, rollers. So anyway, there we are, I've got these um, two lengths out anyway, not fully cleaned up, which I will possibly use to make new fingers and the idea would be, let me come back out again, the idea would be to make more, more or less the same length fingers and if you can see, I've got three of them here, uh, they're all the way in and it leaves, that leaves about a quarter inch, maybe three eighths sticking out here. So they could actually go in further with the existing finger length. And that would put the, uh, that would put the roller sufficiently close to center to have enough length on the outside, if you get what I mean. So certainly modifying these is viable, but if I use uh, some of this half inch, 
uh, I can, when it's cleaned up of course, <laughs> I could machine a flat which was a bit wider, probably about staying metric, 9 to 10 mil, and uh, then put the and then put the uh, roller cam in. I'm only going to have to project the whoops. I'm only going to have to project the uh, roller itself by about an eighth of an inch, and that'll just about give me enough meat to uh, drill through. So I'm interested to see what you think, really. Just out of interest, there's the uh, there's the old travelling steady. It's all made out of solid, uh, most not much machining really. It's uh, bolted together. Fairly substantial gussets, made in 1988. <laughs> uh, the fingers are fairly short, but the locking system is similar. I just got uh, double pins that bear that bear against the flat, so they're fairly easy to set up, and it may well be not worth the trouble to modify those, although well, I could put a thread on them, except I've got no room for a nut. So I think these will stay the same, except for possibly putting um, cam rollers on the end. Anyway, there we are. I'm just after your opinion. See if you think I should modify the existing ones, which I'm tempted to do, actually, although I've got the material to make new. I can't see a lot of advantage in making new, and these are uh, already threaded. So anyway, that's the sort of rough plan at the moment, and I'll hope to get on to this uh, project fairly soon and uh, come back to you then. Thanks for watching.